Be quieter. Except trolls don't watch Vampires of Love, the most awesomest show ever. You've got to watch it, okay? What a curse. I'll never be able to tell the human how much I love her because I'm a vampire. <gasps> what a it's curse. so rad. Is it over already? Who is this young vampire? He's so sad. That's Matt Donovan. He's beautiful, especially when he's sad. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? He looks exactly like Howard! That pale skin, golden eyes. Yeah, whatever. I'm serious, Howard! It's a dead ringer for Matt Donovan! Huh? Check out his photo! But Lola, even if Howard does look a lot like the character in this image box, there's no way he's a vampire. In the magic world, vampires hide from the sun! Huh? Precisely! Howard is never without his sunglasses! As long as he doesn't eat raw meat, you'll be fine. <gasps> I saw him eat some in the cafeteria. I must admit, it's a bit strange. He has gold-colored eyes? Yes, see? That must be why he doesn't want to fall in love with me, for sure. It's because he's a vampire and he's trying to protect me. Don't you see? Oh, Mooney, can you stop him from being a vampire? All right, I do have a recipe for a very good elixir. With a bit of luck, you see, should have the ingredients I need to make it. That's awesome! Right, let's go then. It's time to save Howard. <laughs> Mr. Pick, Jules, don't get into any mischief. Of course not. Ready, Mr. Pick? What's up, you dear? Ah, Lola, I'm glad you came. I wanted to give you back your vampire of love. Did you like it? It's awesome, huh? Oh, I'm not really all that crazy about vampire stories. Uh -huh. I find them a bit scary. Good day, you dear. Ah, good day to you, Miss Moon. Oh, I didn't know you liked Vampire of Love. It's great. Ah, it's my favorite, by far. In fact, I was just about to ask Lola if I could come by later today to borrow uh, the next season. Of course, yes, dear. But right now, I'm going to need a couple of things from you. Some mint. A rose petal. <laughs> An artichoke heart. Mm. And the hair of a unicorn. The hair from a what? Oh, uh, that last one was a joke. I just wanted to know how much stuff you actually have in your darling store. Oh. Have a good day, Yasir. And she even has a sense of humor. <gasps> Golden stars above. I really do need that hair from a unicorn. Oh, maybe I could just use some dog hair instead. That should do the trick. <laughs> <laughs> Good day, Mrs. Baroness. How nice to run into you on such a sunny day. Mm. Oh, the feathers in your hat are magnificent. What? Oh, look at that cloud. Don't you think it looks just like a unicorn? <laughs> no. <laughs> or possibly a dragon. Or maybe it could be a seagull instead. <laughs> That's funny, don't you think? Oh, no. I think you might have left a couple of lights on in your house. Nonsense. What's going on here? Now you're frightening my puppy dogs. Come on, honey buns. Let's not stand here talking to this witch any longer. <laughs> Good job, Lola. <laughs> Voila. Now we have everything we need thanks to the Baroness's dogs. Hey, Howard. It's Lola. I, I found your baseball glove. 
You can come pick it up at my house if you want. Already? That Howard's a fast vampire. <laughs> Here, I've made a special juice oh, for... thank you, Lola. I'm gasping for uh, a drink. <laughs> Good day again, Miss E. I've come to fetch the DVDs of Vampire of Love. I was wondering, it's silly, really, but I thought maybe we could watch them together and... <laughs> That's a lovely idea, this year. See you later. Got anything to drink? Something nice and cool. Oh, yes! Try this fruity little cocktail. It's very refreshing. human, if anything. By the beard of the chief wizard, Howard is Vampyrex. He's who? Vampyrex, king of the vampires. He's the only person who changes into a bat when he drinks this potion. It's his signature. So you're telling me that Howard is the king of the vampires? This is huge! Awesome! But what's going to happen to him? We must track him down before nightfall. If not, Vampyrex will send out a swarm of evil <gasps> bats to invade the entire city. Join me now, Brad. Interrupting my television show. Oh, I'm sorry. I recently discovered a very sweet story on the image box. It's about an impossible love between a girl and a <laughs> Now, what did I want to tell you? Oh, yes, I just wanted to invite you round for a nice cup of hot water. It's delicious with an incy wincy cloud of milk and some cookie crunch. Seriously? You think I drink tea with a witch? Certainly not. Okay, perhaps some other time then. Happy sunshine, Mrs. Baroness. Uh -huh. What's happening? <laughs> Here. Ever since that granny moved in next door, strange things have been happening around here. Okay, so Matt is in love with Cindy, uh, so is Jordan. So he decides to team up with John, who then uses Jody to make her jealous and... <laughs> Tell me, Yasir, you wouldn't have seen a bat by any chance, would you? Yeah, we lost it, and it belongs to the school. It's really important that we get it back. Uh, I believe it's under those. Perfect. It'll be fairy play getting it out of there. Uh, I think you mean child's play. Vacuum Omega Booster! I'm gonna suck it out of that cave using this super powerful vacuum! <laughs> Ooh! Uh... That's my sock. My left foot will be so happy. We must act fast. The sun will be going down soon. If we don't catch it by then, Vampyrex will attack us with his army of bat soldiers. <gasps> oh dear, oh dear. We're all going to die. Calm down, Yasir. Vampyrex is a new character in Vampire of Love. <gasps> Lola, how does Matt Donovan get all the bats to come to him? Uh, hold on. I think it's in episode 24. Or not. It's 41. Uh? In episode 41. 
Matt Donovan manages to lure the bats to him using red currant jelly. Yes, dear, you're a very <laughs> precious person. <laughs> school teacher's waiting for us to bring the bat back to school. Ah, oh, my precious Miss Moon, you're so wonderful, and I... Uh, oh. Are you sure it's not dangerous, Mooney? Because without Howard, my life would be pointless. No, oh, don't worry, Lola. He won't even remember that he had a spell as a vampire. Wow. I'm calling all seven dragons of the second bright star to de this human. <laughs> What's this, Howard? Is that makeup? Hey, are they contact lenses? No, and besides, they're not mine. We saw them fall out of your eye. Jewel, stop pestering Howard. I think it's really cool when a guy wears makeup. Hmm? Oh, all right. Actually, I just wanted to look like Matt Donovan. Oh. That guy puts the ool in cool. So all that was just pretend? Then you're not a vampire? No, afraid not. But if you want, you and I can still watch the last episode together. Oh, let me think about it. Oh, okay. Let's go. <laughs> uh, uh? <laughs> Ugh, I'll never understand love.